going to go ahead and make a switch a roomie here. Don't want to fool anyone, but I got a latte from Starbucks today. What is up everyone and welcome to another video in my hashtag January series. We obviously have a mug right here which is filled with a latte and if you guys have been on my channel before you know why I have a latte and that is because today we are going to be doing a latte language. I am bringing latte language into like a full effect in 2018. If you guys have never been on my channel before, a latte language is essentially like a coffee talk. We talk about pretty relatable things here. So if you guys like little coffee talks, make sure you guys stick around and you'll be filled with a lot of coffee talks here on this channel for this year. Because the new year just rolled around, I decided to make this latte language all about the cliché-ness of the very popular saying, new year, new me. I thought that was a perfect way to kick off not only a new latte language, but this series in general, because I have quite the bit to say about new year, new me. I kind of wanted to, you know, give my opinions, my thoughts behind this little quote that we have started and started to believe in. So every Friday in my series, I'm going to be uploading a latte language. So stay tuned for those because we have a lot of good topics coming. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the cliche-ness of new year, new me. So clearly my standpoint has been made by this quote and that I think it's pretty cliche, but that does not mean that I'm not guilty of saying it, tweeting it, applying it to my own life. But this year I have definitely thought about this quote a little more and have kind of developed a new way of thinking about it. Once the clock strikes midnight, everybody on social media, new year, new me, new year, new me, and I'm like, no, pause. New year, new me is a cliche that everybody starts to say right when the clock strikes midnight on January 1st. Although there is some truth behind this cliche, it all goes back to how you think about this quote and how you apply it to your life. As mentioned, I am totally guilty of believing in this quote, and not that this quote shouldn't be believable, but I definitely have found a different way to believe in this quote in the sense where it is a new year, you are indeed correct, but it is the same you. Every time the year changes, it's the same you. It's not a different you because it's still you. It's still me, Aspen, here in 2018, but what's different is the changes that I'm making in my life. What this cliche essentially means is that indeed it's a new year and you're just applying change to who you are. And when you look back at it, it's still the same you. From the roots down, it's still the same you, but it's the change that will make you different. Depending on that change, you are essentially becoming a better version of yourself. And that is where the new year, new me comes in. That's why I still believe in this quote is because I changed the perspective and the meaning behind it. And now I believe it the way that I want to believe it. For those who think that it literally is a new you once the new year starts, not judging you at all, but I wanted to kind of sit down and give my perspective on the whole cliche-ness of the new year, new me quote, and kind of give you guys a different, you know, mindset and outlook on what it truly means. What makes you a new you or a different you in the new year is the changes that you decide to apply to your life. Whether they're good or bad, hopefully not bad, but if they are, you know, what can you do? But no matter what they are, it's still changing and defining you as a person, which overall will change how people see you, change who you are. And to me, that is the meaning behind this quote that of course the new year is here and the new year is allowing you to change, allowing you to bring in the new. If you want to start living a different lifestyle, that's a new you. If you want to completely change your mindset about something, that's a new you. Whatever you decide to change about yourself in 2018, it's overall making you a new you and that's not a bad thing. And that's what I think I love about this quote is because you can change who you are, and in the end, you're only reaching for a better version of yourself. So I really hope my perspective on this quote made some sense to you guys, and I hope it kind of changed the way you guys kind of think about this quote. It's not like I'm bashing on this quote at all. I just think it's a little hysterical when I go on Twitter or Instagram on January 1st and see everybody tweeting like new year, new me, but they literally think it's a new them. So I wanted to give and share my thoughts on this quote and give you guys a little different perspective on it. So I hope you guys 
took this video with a grain of salt. I'm not judging you if you want to go ahead and tweet new year new me on Twitter or put it as a caption on your Instagram pictures. I'm not judging you. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the first latte language of my hashtag January series. This video wraps up the first week of this series. So if you guys haven't caught up on all my other videos, I will have the playlist on the screen as well as linked down below so you guys can check it out, check out the rest of my videos. And with that being said, I will see you guys Sunday with my first weekly vlog of this series and Monday with a new video. Bye! Thank you.